All right, hey everybody, it is unboxing time at the compound. I bought two tools that I honestly did not need. I mean, I sort of needed this. I have a lot of corded circular saws, um, and my battery powered is a Ryobi. It's kind of gutless and uh, just doesn't perform as well as this. Even cutting through half inch plywood, it just bogs down. All the reviews on this were pretty damn good as far as how it you know, operates and stuff. I have a lot of corded grinders, but I really wanted this uh, with the paddle uh, trigger instead of the, the, the slide switch, whatever they call that, um, because I don't do a lot of long-term grinding where I need to turn it on. I have big 10-inch grinders for that if I want to, you know, straighten somebody's floor out. So that was the purpose of these two. And I thought today I would just do kind of a, a simple unboxing and uh i was gonna just you know take a razor knife and you know hack them all open and do something all cool and dramatic like that but i like keeping my boxes not that i would need them for warranty i, I just like having them um for many silly stupid reasons so um that's uh, kind of what i did um and why i'm i'm not going all caveman on opening these up so we got some directions, nice enough. Got a, a Hercules 24 tooth uh, carbide tip saw for mainly for framing and stuff like that. Kind of awesome. And then uh, you know, the real uh, purpose of what's in this box is this, <laughs> right? So it's a 20 volt badass circular saw. And like I say, these things rate really high, and they're and they're really well performing, and and you don't really have to worry about you know one second faster cutting and all that, because if 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 you're a DIYer or a, a contractor or a handyman and you use these tools, you're not really timing yourself. Once again, this was all about the warranty and and the ability to take this in and get it fixed. 5,000 RPM, maximum depth, two and a half, maximum depth of cut, one and five eighths, or seven eighths, speed size, seven and a quarter, bevel capacity, 50 degrees, that weighs 7.4 pounds, and uh, the blade is on the right, which I kind of like, because then I can reach around if I need to and hold that open keep my hands out of the way because sometimes when you're cutting angles this 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 doodad is is really just a ginormous pain in the ass so put all that in there there there's a bit of marketing going on up in there up in hell so like i say i like to keep the box so i'm going to Right, so there is toy numero uno. Now this is something I had on the on my list on Harbor Freight for quite a while, and uh, I, I was really looking forward to it. And uh, not that I, I didn't want to buy it three weeks ago; they just didn't have them in stock at my uh, Harbor Freight, and so I had to wait. Um, for it to, to show up. Bam. Wow, that's that's pretty nice. It's got a pretty heavy feel to it. And then it's got the uh, the paddle trigger, which is kind of nice for a lot of the things, you, you know, you do with a grinder. Hmm. All right. That. Another more of a grinder blade. I have hundreds of those. Um, and then this thing, uh, RPM really doesn't matter all that much on it. It's a, I think it's 8,500 RPM. Um, I'm digging it already and I haven't even started playing with it. 
Hmm. One of the other cool reviews I saw, this thing snapped in the handle, um, but this one does not. It's got this cute thing on it. Like I say, I don't do grinding. I have big grinders for that, um, so I don't need it. Um, or that, so. All right. So there's all that. Um, I've been doing a lot of work out in my barn and I disconnected the power out there because we were tearing stuff down and I just didn't want it sparking out and, and going crazy. And the old wiring in there was really old and messed up. And then the, the panel on the outside was kind of jacked and I just had it disconnected and I had the power moved over to here, which is probably like, 70 feet from my barn so cordless is the way to go for me because i do a lot of work out there in the remodeling process and eventually that will be my my big equipment uh garage shop i'll have my sawmill parked up in there so it's it's under roof and doesn't get rained on uh, and it'll be out of the elements even though the three sides of it are going to be completely open um, it'll still have a roof over it and uh and so these kind of tools are going to be used out there quite a bit. Now I'm going to build a solar system out there for lights and stuff at night and to uh, maybe run my compressor once in a blue moon, but I'm not, I don't really use a compressor out there other than putting air and stuff. And uh, so I want to experiment with a, a DIY kind of solar setup. I have, I bought five batteries from my brother cause he switched over to the lithium ion which were just uh, too cost prohibitive for me to, to fiddle fart around. It's just an experiment. But I do want to hook up, you know, a refrigerator out there and things like that just for shits and giggles. And then I want lights in the bathroom up there and stuff like that. So that's why I'm switching, you know, to a lot of these type tools to the cordless. And because I love them to death, I love cordless. So that is my thinking on all that. And then once again, you know, there's the, uh, the warranty issue. There's your little um, Allen key for, for this thing. It's got a, a lock. If you can reach around and grab it. There we go. This thing's pretty heavy. It's actually as heavy as my, I think it's a skill, uh, circular saw. And uh, this thing is uh, <coughs> about as heavy. And I bought that just to run, uh, <laughs> probably, probably would have been a good idea if I would have fucking paid attention to that when I was tearing it off. Okay, I get it. So I don't need that. This can go on there like that. Jeez, Mark, pay attention. All right, so this is the, uh, you know, reversible threads, I think, on this. Nope. All right. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the way this thing catches as, as far as the arbor. You think it is, but then it's not. There. All right. Let's get a battery and see if I can hurt myself. I like that it has a nanosecond delay when you pull that trigger. Just so you can make sure your finger's out of the way. Because uh, you can almost hear it. Right. So there's a little bit of time there in between. Uh, you know, not paying attention when you're busy. All right. I like that. All right. So I had that on wrong. So can't blame that on Harbor Freight. So. All right. All in all. Um. 
for for what it is, for what it's worth, in my opinion, uh, these are really well made tools. I, I like the uh, whatever they call this uh, um, rubber that goes around it, over molded or whatever they do. They call it. It's got a nice feel to it. Got a good balance once you put the battery in there. Um, I like that that it has a handle. See my other one, you have to wrap around it and then push the trigger and do all that stuff. And I'm just not a fan. And then this uh, really feels nice. Got a sweet uh, deck on it. Kind of like aluminum smooth uh, powder coated deck. Uh, it's not a plastic piece of shit. And, and my old uh, skill saw that I had forever, it had kind of like a molded metal that was stamped. And the first time I, I dropped it by accident, not even that far, it bent it. And then my Craig guide wouldn't go on there anymore. So that's why I had to buy the other stuff one that I have and now this and, and this is a smooth operation I have to look through my box I think there's a guide that goes in here nice I like that so instead of having the little thing back over here, it has this right here. And it, it, by the looks of it, you can actually adjust it to get it to where it doesn't tighten way down here like one of my old ones did. That was a, a giant piece of shit. Um, all in all, I'm a happy guy. So uh, the compound has two more tools. I don't know if this was a really good box opening. I'm just kind of winging it because I got a ton of stuff to do out there. And I thought I got to get this done and get these open. So I hope you enjoyed it. As far as the grinder, I think it's a great grinder. All the videos and the reviews I've watched of it rates really high. So <coughs> I don't need to do any testing on it. It works. And the beauty of the warranty is if it don't do as expected or it starts screwing up, I just take it back to to Harbor Freight, boom, get it replaced. Even with a five-year warranty, which is probably one of the best in the industry other than um, Bridget, I think, and one other one, maybe Milwaukee, that have a, a five-year and one of them has even more. The problem with that is getting them to service it because you, you, you can't always get a hold of them. And, and even if you call the number and they answer right then and say, send it to me, we're going to fix it. You've got like a week of, of freight and shipping and packing and all the time you got to go down to United Freight and get a box or whatever. That's why I keep my boxes and send it off. And then you they, they, they call you and go, yeah, we got it all fixed. It's not going to cost you a dime. Uh, do you want to send it back? Because that's like one of the stupid questions they ask you. And so then, then they send it back. So even if everything went as smooth as clockwork, you have uh, two to three days shipping one way, even if you pay extra for it, because two days shipping now means three, even though you're paying for two. So you got three days there, three days back, that's six, a day for them to receive it and work on it and get it packaged back up. So you're looking at eight to 10 days, maybe even two, um, two workday weeks, which would be 10 days, but Saturday and Sunday in there. So, to be able to just take this back to Harbor Freight, which is right down by where my office is, and, and just go here, it, it it broke, it quit working, and you know, I think they even say if you drop it off a roof, they still cover it, um, which is kind of weird. But hey, if that's what they're gonna do, I'm gonna let them. So these are both really well made. Like I say, I've watched a ton of reviews on both of them. I'm sure you have too. So. None of it's going to change whether it's in my shop or your shop or the one that's doing the review. Uh, like I say, it's percentage points one way or the other. Which one's a little faster? Which one has a little more torque? Um, 
I just find it all kind of irrelevant. Uh, I trust all the reviews I've seen on them, and they're they're you know guys do a lot of you know homework on that. Uh, so I trust them. But even if I didn't, I would still buy this without a big testing process because of the warranty. I can't stress that enough. It's all about the warranty. I'm a happy guy. Talk to you guys all later. Adios. We made too many compromises already. Too many retreats. We invade our space and we fall back. I'm your huckleberry. The line must be drawn here. This far, no farther. That's just my game.